You've probably all noticed in the past 20 to 30 years, portion sizes have increased by a lot. In fast food restaurants, the servings offered are about two to five times what they were in the 1950s. Um, salty snack foods like chips and pretzels and things like that have increased by about 93% calorie-wise. And overall, we're just eating more calories throughout the day. Women have increased their calorie intake by about 22% and men by about 7% since the 1970s. There are three simple steps we can all implement in order to improve our portion control. Number one is to become aware of the portions you are eating. Number two is to compare your portion sizes to standards and determine if they are too large. And number three is to repair your portion sizes if needed. To become more aware of your portion sizes, a good thing to do is to track your intake. Whether it's on a paper tracker where you just write everything down every day or if you use a website like choosemyplate.gov or on your smartphone, recording what you ate and how much helps you to become aware of how much you're actually eating. Second, you need to compare your portions to standards. In order to do that, you need to become familiar with what a standard portion is. The third step is to repair your portions if needed. A couple ways that we can do that is first to measure out your portions every time you eat using simple tools like measuring cups, teaspoons, or a food scale can be helpful. If you're away from home and you don't have those items with you, you can use your hand, something that's always available. Um, a standard portion of meat is about three ounces, which is about the size of the palm of your hand. Um, a cup of vegetables or any other type of food is about the size of a woman's fist. Um, a teaspoon of oil would be about the size of the tip of your thumb down to the first joint. Another thing that you can do is to shrink the size of your plates and utensils. You can fit a lot less food on a standard salad plate than on the larger dinner plate, and that tricks your brain into thinking that you've had just as much food. In summary, as you're trying to improve your eating habits, keep in mind these three steps. Become more aware of what you're eating in regards to your portion sizes. Compare those portions to the standards and then repair your portions as needed.